I think we are live here. I think we are live. Just make sure we are we have the sound right now. Let's check the sound before our proper live streaming this morning. Hold on, let me check the sound here. Make sure we are all good. Uh, I think usually my live stream is about five to ten second delay. Second so, delay. So yeah, it all depends. Okay. So it's not it's not quite live live, okay, but slightly uh, delay. So this is still better than uh, Instagram. The Instagram is about anywhere between five or 10 second delay. So and more, uh, actually more like 20 or 30 second delay there. So this morning's video, uh, uh, I mean, we call, we like to call reaction Thursday, okay. What I like to do is I like to, you know, uh, take out some videos out from Argos and then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna flip the camera. You guys are going to see it. And then let's react to it, all right? I do enjoy reaction video, by the way. How about you guys? Okay, by the way, we are also doing the simulcast with our uh, Discord member. Uh, by the way, it's free to join, okay? The Discord is a free to join. You guys can just send me a quick email, okay? A quick email on the title, say Discord link, and I'll be happy to send that to you. You just come hang out with us, okay? Come hang out with us there. Okay, so today's topic is Odyssey Argo. I know how many of you actually, how many of you ordered this coffee machine? It's been like a couple of years. The finally, Ross is sending it out now. So he made, uh, Ross made an Odyssey Argo unboxing video. Uh, he just dropped it yesterday, uh, last night or this morning. I'm gonna shout out to Steve. Uh, my buddy Steve informed me that, you know, uh, Ross dropped the video, so uh, so I'm gonna show you the. So I'm not gonna play the entire video for you. It's about 33 minutes. It's it's pretty long time. So I'm I'm just gonna go. I mean, go to the where he's going to pull the shot. Okay, I think that's most interesting part of this coffee machine. So, and uh, I do have a link to his video. Okay, entire length of his video. So make sure you go check it out if you guys are curious about it. All right. But meantime, uh, if you are first time joining us, welcome to live streaming. And just let me know in the comment section as well if you are first time joining us for the live. Okay, I'd like to shout out your name. We have uh, our regulars on this morning. Casper, I don't, I don't know, Casper or something. I, I haven't heard that name before, so it must be new. Casper, I got Dylan's on, D. Hall, Phyllis, and I'm at. We got 25 people on, but we have a few people on the live chat there. Uh, Blue Ray's on as well. We got the Mr. Rainbow is on from Tel Aviv. Okay. All right. Uh, so behind me right now, okay, I have a lot of bony. Okay, behind me is a lot of bony. Uh, this is the pre, okay. So this is the pre uh, millennium. So built in, I believe this is built in 1990s. And I have a Flare 58. Okay, Flare 58 here. So think, um, if you don't know what Odyssey Argo is, think of it as, okay, modernized Lapaboni, all right? So we have the, so Argo has, you know, I'm gonna show you, okay? So it's kind of like, imagine everything good thing about uh, Lapaboni, put that in the Flare 58, okay? So 58 million port filter, um, so it's, Think of it as a modernized Lapaboni. So that is the Odyssey Argo. Okay, Odyssey Argo. All right, so let's, uh, I'm gonna get the, hold on a second, yeah, I think I need to flip the camera for you guys, okay? Just make sure we have the good view of it. Okay, hold on. Even though I own a computer shop, Comes to my video technology is not the, not the best at the moment, but we get there someday. All right. All right. So I'll walk in my porta filter. Um, it'll start with it towards the left hand side, um, not quite 90 degrees. So you'll kind of have to feel around for the slots where it locks, goes up in there. You will twist it for sure. So we have three LEDs, a low fluid level light, a temperature light, and usually locks in about straight okay. on. 
So don't here we go. Feel around for the slots where uh, so we're gonna go kind of like step by step here, guys. We're gonna go step by step here. Uh, so again, Ross is using the 58 millimeter pore filter, okay? So this 58 millimeter pore filter, just lock it in like, you know, any other E61 group machine. Lock just goes up in there. You will twist it and usually locks in about straight on. Okay. You'll take your cup, drop it on your scale, pair it, so it's zeroed. So our light's still on, we are ready to brew. Our pre-infusion is just under two bar. So what you'll do is I will pull this down, I'll go just past 90 degrees and let the air bleed out. So once you get there, you- Okay, so he mentioned about the uh, air bleed out. Right now, uh, so this chamber has a uh, water, okay? Water is boiling, all right? And then you have to bleed out the air first. Bleed out the air first. You will hear some steam bleeding out of this uh, valve. The first few tries, some spurts of water might also pop out. So don't go looking in there. Just, just don't do that. I don't want hot water going into your face. Um, there's a few techniques. There's some rubber pads on the bottom, and those are so that you can kind of push back and it doesn't slide. If you pull towards you, it's going to tip up. If you push down and sort of push back at the same time, you see it's nice and solid. Table shaking, but it's solid. If you wanted more leverage, you could put your non-dominant hand under the portafilter and sort of squeeze them together. Um, so I'll just do it with one hand. And so you'll listen as I go just past 90 degrees. I'll stop. I'll let that steam bleed out. We'll go the rest of the way to let it pre-infuse. And then we'll release and our shot will pull. You see it barely coming out. And I'll almost kind of dial back a little bit. I want it to bleed out nice and slowly. Okay, so as you, hopefully you guys can hear that as well. And then you guys can hear the, all the air is bleeding out. Okay, air is bleeding out. So you, that's that's a part of a workflow you need to be really watch out for. Get all the air out. You'll hear a little gurgling. And then I'll go all the way down. So here okay. using the spring load. Uh, pre infuses for however long you'd like. I'll need you to do a couple seconds, some will drip out, and then I let and go. And they just let go as a spring action there. And the lever rises all on its own. So I'll pull the cup now, just before the end. We were right at 42 grams, so we did 18 grams in, 42 out, uh, so a little over one to two, um, probably close to like one to two and a half or so. Um, now, so removing the portafilter. So these okay. types of machines are notorious for what they call cup spray. So basically what I will do with my non-dominant hand, I'll pull down on the lever a little bit just to relieve the pressure and I will unlock. And there's a kind of awkward angle right here with this uh, grinder in the way. So I'll unlock and I'll drain any remaining water out and then you can let go. And so sometimes you can kind of pump the lever a little bit. If there's any water trapped up in there, that'll go out. You can grab your rag and wipe it down. It will splash a little bit. Remove your scale. Um, and so then here is where you can knock your puck out. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to push the button in for steaming. So you'll see the steam indication will turn on here. That's how you know it is heating up for steaming. So for steaming, it'll heat up to 135 Celsius. Um, which it should start usually starts at just about three bar and then it'll drop down to about a steady two bar so then with my port filter i'll knock the puck screen out gentle tap knock the puck out nice clean puck so tool um so there's pretty powerful steam so i'm gonna have to I'll, I'll turn it back a little bit uh, i have to say the steaming is pretty impressive okay steaming power is very nice Right, the nice steaming power there. Nice. nice heart there. Well, oh. kind of lopsided of heart. Yeah, so milk steaming is nice and easy, uh, rather powerful. Um, I typically would say um, pull all your shots and then steam your milk. Reason being because we have it set where the machine will heat up to steam your milk. If you decide to pull a shot after that, um, you'll have to wait for it to cool off even okay. more. 
so I think you guys get the gist of it, right? Okay, so I think you guys have a good idea about the workflow as well. The way we have it set up. And then, so I mean, what I'm seeing so far, okay, what I'm seeing so far. Uh, if you guys are looking for like, I mean, if you own a Flare 58 right now, okay, if you own a Flare 58, uh, you're not gonna, the, you, you have to get used to, okay. But if you own a Lapaboni, okay, if you own a Lapaboni right now, I think uh, comes to workflow wise, I think it's gonna be, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be like, it's gonna be better than Lapaboni, let's put it that way, okay. It's gonna be better than Lapaboni. All right, and so speaking of Lapaboni, so let's pull the shot with the Lapaboni. Okay, let's uh, let's pull the shot with the Lapaboni here. By the way, if you're just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live uh, welcome to live streaming. Okay, the mass say I uh, I I had never seen a Lapaboni shot besides James Bond. I don't know what to ex expect. Okay, so let's pull the shot with the Lapaboni. All right, we have a team joining us as well. I'm just starting to use Flare 58 Plus. Plus and 58, that's pretty much the same. Plus has a little fancy stuff anyway. Fancy, you know, uh, just fancier, let's put it that way. But they are pretty much identical. All right. So let's put the shot with the uh, lap bone here. So I'm going to, I'm kind of like show you what's going on with uh, Flare 58, not the Flare 58, the Arciago. Arciago, you have uh, two options. You can use the spring load, okay? And also, if you can if you can go actually full manual as well, you have two options. And then that's a uh, spring, I mean, you can just take the spring out, it's not a big deal. And by the way, if you wanna see the full video, uh, I have the link down below to the uh, Ross's uh, Argos page. So, so check it out as well, I think. Again, I mean, if you're planning on getting an Argos, that's a great video to watch, all right? Uh, uh, Rossi starts shipping it out, I think by next week. No, uh, unit number one is going out, I believe next week, okay? So a very exciting time. I'm really happy for uh, Ross there. That's a long time wait, right? it's been a long time, so. Okay. Uh, temperature, uh, I'm using the dark roast, okay? One of our friend, Ander, shout out to Ander. Uh, he roast me some coffee from Denmark. So I have this uh, delicious dark roast right now. All right, so let's uh, pour some shot. Again, so this one has, uh, I have the air buster on it. So, so this one I don't have to worry about. Uh, I don't have to worry about uh, bleed out air. It does for me automatically. All right. All right. The reason why, okay. The reason why uh, when, when you saw the video, you have to go slowly because, hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, look at the power of steam coming down, okay. So this one, look, watch this. Watch this. Hopefully you guys can see that. You see that? That's pretty violent, okay? All right, that is pretty violent there. So that, that's the reason why uh, I like to use the paper. Okay, you could get a screen as well. You can, get a, you can buy a puck screen, but I prefer paper, All right? So let's do some little bit of puck prep here. And then let's make some coffee, okay? I'm just gonna shut it up for a sec. Uh, Lapaboni does not have PID, all right? It does not have PID, so uh, it's all about managing the heat, okay, heat management. That's the reason why I have the heat sink as well. But it's, again, it's all about managing the heat, so uh, I'm gonna start with the bottom paper on the, uh, puck paper on the bottom. Pour a filter, uh, I have the dosing ring here. All right, here we go. Just gonna put some coffees in. I'm using about 13 gram, that's it. I'm using 13 gram here. Uh, you could do a WDT if you wanted to. 
Okay, let's do WDT. All right, let's do some little bit of WDT here. Just like so. I'm just gonna just like that. Okay, I think I think I might have too much coffee inside, especially using darker roast. Make sure you don't want to fill up too much. Okay, I'm just gonna put the paper on the bottom, uh, on the top there, just like so. All right, I'm just gonna turn back on. I'm gonna lock it in. Lock it in all the way, guys. Okay. I'm gonna do so. I'm gonna do 13 gram. So let's do 13 in like 26 gram out. Okay. Let's do one to two ratio. We're gonna do one to two. Make sure you get the right size cup. Okay. Let's pull the shot, okay? Again, we, I'm just gonna go all the way up. You guys hear that all the air coming out? Okay. So right now we, ha we are doing the pre-infusion is happening, okay? Pre-infusion pre is happening right now as we speak. I'm just gonna wait about a couple seconds. Okay, hopefully you, you are going to see some dropping here. If not, just give it a little push, okay? Not too much, okay, just a little bit of push. Okay, you see the drop? So I'm gonna do this called double flinny, okay? I'm just gonna go, I'm going to Refill the chamber and uh, give it a good push. Cup is coming out. I'm at the nine bar pressure right now. Get pressure gauge. Okay. I'm at like 20 gram, okay? I'm at like 20 gram there. So, so which means, it's called double flinny. Uh, sometimes you don't have enough water in the chamber, okay? You don't have enough water in the chamber. So you gotta really, uh, comes to lap of body. I have to say, this is not an easy machine to master, all right? Uh, if you're looking for first express machine, so this is great for a second. However, if you go with a uh, post mill, okay, if you're gonna buy Lapaboni, go go with after year 2000, okay. Uh, but meantime, let's. Um, I'm gonna make a quick cortada. All right, let's do that quick cortada there. I'm gonna show you the steaming power of Lapaboni as well, so you got to, you guys can see it. So again, the shot looks pretty good though. Okay, has beautiful cream on the top. All right. So let's do some little bit of milk. I have to say the milk pressure is a fantastic on a lapuboni. Okay, hold on. Here we go, guys. Let's get some better views.
right? Milk is done. Okay. I mean, again, the milk, the steep pressure is pretty nice, actually. I do enjoy steaming from La Puboni. All right. I'm just gonna flip for a second. At this time, I like to shut it off. Shut off the machine. Okay. All right, let's do some quick latte art here, guys. Okay. Let's do some quick latte art. Looks pretty good, I have to say. Not bad. Not better to hold that second. All right. Okay. Goodness. Uh, I have a such a small space. So, so my plan for this channel, okay, someday, all right, we're gonna have a multiple angle of camera, all right, instead of I'm um, uh, flipping the camera around back and forth. And then let's do it right. Okay, let's do, let's set up a multi camera there. Instead of flipping it, just press button to go to the right. Uh, it's, it's pretty good, isn't it? Okay. Happy Thursday, guys. I'm, I'm just gonna have one sip. Uh, I don't do dairy anyway. I'm just gonna have one sip here. Man. Uh, Ender, if you're watching, you did a pretty good job on roasting, okay? So I got about 13 gram in. I think I got about 20 gram out. Okay, so it's kind of like close to one to two, maybe one, one to 1.5. Uh, tastes like, you know, dark chocolate, sweet from the whole milk. They're fantastic. Okay, so let me show you. Uh, it's called puck spray, okay? Puck spray. And it's been cooled down for a few minutes, so I don't, I don't, I don't think we're gonna see that, but hopefully you guys can win this. If you have to go slowly, okay? You, here we go. You see that? All the bubble coming out? You have to go slow. Okay. Very, very slow. Hold on. Here we go. If, not, if you go too fast, it's going to be just kind of like it's pop. Just like bomb goes up. All right. Oh, you see that there on the sideways. So this is what happens. Okay. And then again, you do have some dry puck. It's nice to, you know, doesn't matter if you're using the regular uh, puck screen or paper puck screen. Uh, it, I feel like it does give you that nice, you know, dry puck there. That's the reason why I do like to use the paper and less messy too, less messy. Again, if you're just joining us, uh, we just react to the Odyssey Argo, the playing the shot. Again, uh, the comes to workflow wise, I feel like it's a little better than, okay, they're a little better than La Puboni, just because they're using 58, millim uh, 58 millimeter pore filter, okay? And also Odyssey has the PID. You can control the temperature. Uh, with the regular La Puboni, you cannot do that. So this one just has a hunk of boil on the back you cannot touch it okay everything about this computer is so old okay it's old school all right but it is a lot of fun okay. if you're gonna learn how to make good espresso i mean this is a great uh, great second machine not the first machine okay second machine to kind of uh, play with i do not recommend especially uh, pre uh, millennium all right if you go post which means anything after year 2000 uh they're going to give you a fi uh, so this is a 49 millimeter uh 49 millimeter poly filter it's going to be 51 millimeter okay they're much bigger much larger and the water chamber is also larger as well so you, you do not have to do double flinny to get the this one you cannot do a uh, turbo shot you could uh, depend on the coffee uh i was uh when i was watching uh, Argo's video, uh, you can do one to one ratio fine, one to two is fine, comes to one to 2.5, one to three on 
RSI algo, it's going to be a little bit more challenging, okay? A little bit more challenging because all depend on the coffee. So it should be interesting there. It should be very interesting. Yeah, because again, uh, if you are planning on getting one, yeah, let me know, okay? I mean, love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, I do have a direct link to the Ross's uh, we, uh, YouTube page there, so make sure to check out the entire unboxing video. Uh, that should be fun to watch. Okay, I mean, uh, uh, looking at the beer quality, that looks pretty good. Okay, I have to say, it looks very impressive. So, looking forward to seeing in you know real action there. Okay, I know. And people, people is going to start receiving uh, next couple of weeks, and they hopefully. Paper is going to post some videos on it, their thoughts on it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday morning. Uh, I'll be back later. Okay, let's do. Uh, we're gonna do some unboxing as well. Uh, I got some couple of unboxing video coming up. Yeah, let's do that sometime today. Hopefully later today. All right. See you next time.